Oh man, I'm gonna tell you, ain't nothing, nothing in the world better than dropping that damn load. It's setting them air brakes like my uncle say. And every time you hear that, pssst, that's money being made. Every time you hear that pssst, on them air brakes, you hit bump that dot. That's my uncle say. That's money being made. Ain't nothing like it, man. You know, it's um, it's a good feeling. Once you done knocked out and completed a load, I done done, I did two, two today, rough as hell, back hurt, wrestling with the snow, it was real, um, they had a winter storm come through Wisconsin, was driving anywhere from 20 something miles an hour up to 50 maybe, for over freaking three hours or more, usually I pull over. But um, I was kind of in the gym, and I had to um, had to get to where I was getting. So um, I went up through, through that, through Wisconsin. Then I came back out. It was, wasn't too bad when I came back out. Just dropping in um, Sterling, Illinois, up here in this Walmart. And um, it's a good feeling, man. I've been, I've been busting, busting ass, man. I've been busting ass. You know, just... just Hurt, you know, getting my sleep usually when I'm um, getting loaded, and um, by having a, a reef on your back, it's kind of hard to, uh, for me to get used to that and get 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 my proper um, proper rest. And so um, it's just taking a little getting used to and adjusting right here. So um, it's taking a bit to get used to, you know, for me to get my sleep. But um, I got somebody calling me. Hold on, drivers. Yeah, so like I was saying, for all those, I was doing drive-in mainly. So it's, it's taking me a little bit to get used to this, this loud-ass carry on my back. So I haven't been getting very much good sleep, even when I do sleep. Today was probably the best I got. I got four straight hours, and I didn't even notice the damn reefer. So, um, I think I'm probably starting to now get used to it, like, um, um, talking to Woody on, um, YTTA, y'all need to jump over there on, um, Zello, YTTA, you know, and he, he, he runs the carrier, and he was telling me, he's like, you know, it, it's gonna take a minute to get used to it, but he's like, after you get used to it, it won't be a problem. So I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm I'm finally I'm finally used to it. And um I can give normal sleep for now. Or shit. Best sleep I can expect to get. As well as I can get without somebody knocking on the door or something like that. But um it's just a rough week. It was a rough, rough, rough week. Snow, rain, sleep. Uh, just getting soaking wet. Uh, wrestling with the trailer, trying to slide the tandems. Uh, I mean, I was out there up in Wisconsin in the snow for about an hour and a half. Got logs, putting on the back of the tires, trying to find a dry a piece of... Um, level ground that wasn't um, snow covered or ice covered because the wheels, the tandems wouldn't slide because I couldn't get no grip and um, I've already always have a problem with sliding these tandems on this trailer anyway they don't like to um, they don't like to slide, you know and um, I don't know why the damn tandems do not like to slide unless I'm him so hell is going on with it? If somebody know something about it, please let me know. Please let me know. But, um, when I'm empty, slide, slide like butter. When I'm loaded, I don't, I don't like to slide all the way. No matter if it's going back or forward. So, that's about it. Earlier this week, I did some eggs, delivered some eggs. Look, that was a nightmare, man. They got some bird flu or some shit going on. And let me tell you, drivers, the, you, you got to get a, a wash before you go in, a wash soon as you leave out. 
and a, no, a wash before you go in and a wash before you deliver. You have to put on these booties. Your trailer gets um, sprayed down with um, disinfectant when you come in. You have to step on some uh, a soaked field disinfectant mat. It's a hassle. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Not in my eyes. I'm sorry. It was, it was just too much of a hassle. Let me show y'all where I'm at. Just like everywhere else. Ain't nothing else. My tells to see it's Walmart. Had a load of onions. They got the whole damn trailer stinking. But, um, yeah, it was just a rough week, man. Everything gonna be sore. I just heard. I, I lay down in the bed. Shit, I, 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 um, I lay down in that bed and I, I damn near feel like crying, y'all. You know, just because I'm so damn sore and hurt. I need to go to Cairo. Probably need to go to the damn doctor. You know, but I don't cry. Infamous. I ain't crying. I ain't crying, pimping. You know, so I just tough it out, get back up, get the little sleep I do get. Um, because, like I said, I don't get much because of the reefer. And I'm um, just not used to that damn reefer being on me. So um, this has been a really, really tough, hard, hard week. I mean, non stop, day after day. And I'm only halfway through it. What the hell that tell you? I'm only halfway through it, but um, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. I want to share that feeling with y'all. I was in that moment, and I'm like, man, I'm sitting here. I'm like, you know what? This shit feels good, man. It feels good when you that, and you know you earned it. You know, you know you earned it, and um, it just feels good. It's a real good feeling, you know. It's, one of the roughest jobs, the toughest jobs I've ever had in my entire life, and I done had some tough jobs. This this is a rough drive job, man. I'm always all my clothes smell like grease and diesel from getting up under this truck, checking oil, doing this, fixing that, climbing up on top of this, jumping up out of that, sweeping out the truck. You know, it it, it is a dirty rough job as an owner op. it's a dirty rough ass job this you can end up breaking your back especially when you ain't got that all brand new equipment so um i want to put that out there you know, for, for people who, who don't know is it nice yeah it's nice like i said i got a good feeling now but i'm telling you when I was doing most of that stuff, you know, I'm, I'm praying that, oh, come on, so I can get up out of this rain or up out of this snow or how many more miles I got to go driving like this, you know, trailers, trying to, trying to keep that damn thing straight on ice and um, four wheelers still cutting me off and um, driving through a whiteout. Oh man, I just I just want to put that out there to y'all. And this shit is this shit is tough. It's it's nice when it's done and it's over with. But this is a tough ass job, man. Owner op is a tough ass job. You ain't got that new equipment. Hell, even if you do got that new equipment, because um, I like I told y'all plenty of times before, I was with um England, and and we had new equipment and. and that was a rough job, you know. It was a very rough job. So, um, dropping a hook and putting on a mouse, trying to sleep while the truck moving, teaming. You know, right now I'm not teaming, so I, I, I'm only doing regional. Um, so I don't generally go over 500 miles, no more than that, because it's just it's just me. Trying to get a load done per day. Um, if I start back teaming, you know, I'll maybe I'd be able to take them long trips again and, and do what needs to be done. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Oh, that was that was pretty much it. That was pretty much the gist of it. Just wanted to share that that moment with y'all. Share that feeling with y'all. And. Um, as usual, stay tuned, pimping. More be coming. Be easy.